Hey guys, I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's healthy and I hope everybody is safe. So last week, something happened that really impacted my life. I think it impacted the whole world. So last week, um, I had my first show of 2020 in Michigan and I was very, very happy with the show. It was a great show. However, I was very tired the whole weekend because that Saturday, I had a very early flight to Michigan and after the show, I had another early flight back into New York. So I was very tired when I landed back into New York when my dad picked me up. So when he dropped me home, I was very tired and I knew I had to shoot a YouTube video, but I was like, you know what? Let me take a nap first. After uh, my nap, I'll shoot a video. So I take my nap, I wake up, I look at my phone, I have a whole bunch of missed calls and text messages, which got me very nervous because I'm like, why is everybody trying to reach out to me? I open my phone and the first text I see is from my mom and it goes, your friend Kobe, has died. At first, it didn't register to me that she was talking about Kobe Bryant. I thought maybe it went to church and somebody that I grew up with, whose name is Kobe, has passed away. So I called my best friend, Nana. I'm like, Nana, what's going on? Why are you trying to reach out to me? And he tells me that Kobe Bryant and his young daughter and seven other people have passed away in a helicopter crash and I became numb. I didn't know how to react. Um, I didn't even believe it was true. Um, I went on Google, I Googled it. Um, so many sources were saying it was true. I just laid in bed and I didn't do anything that Sunday. Um, I actually haven't been on social media for the past week because I just didn't really wanna see all the pictures because I was really, really, really um, emotional about the situation. So um, let me explain to you why this impacted my life. The reason why my mom in a text even said, your friend Kobe um, has died. Um, I, you know, Kobe wasn't somebody that I, I knew. He wasn't a personal friend. I've never spoken to him, but uh, my parents know how much Kobe meant to me because when I was in junior high school, um, when I discovered Kobe Bryant, he was in high school. He was 16, 17, and I watched this interview of this young Kobe Bryant stating to the world that he is going to be the best basketball player of all time. His confidence level was so high. I really, really started to like Kobe from that moment. I followed him, um, his career from that moment. Um, I remember when he waved um, going to college to join the NBA, which a lot of people really did not like. They felt that he was jumping the gun. He should have went to college, but Kobe already had set his goal and knew what he was going to do. I remember um, when he was a rookie, a lot of people didn't like him. They said he was selfish. They said that, you know, he was too arrogant, um, that he felt he was better than everyone. Um, I really liked him. Um, I remember um, growing out my hair. Um, I had a, a little afro because Kobe had an afro. I used to um, wear his jersey all the time. I used to go to sleep with his jersey. Uh, my parents bought me his sneaker that everybody thought was ugly, but you couldn't tell me anything. I thought it was the best sneaker of all time. And I can stand here and talk about how great Kobe was on the basketball court, but I don't have to because the world saw it for themselves. What I'm going to focus on is what inspires me the most about Kobe Bryant, and that's his work ethics. So in this world, a lot of people always focus on success, how successful a person is, look at their house, look at their cars, look at everything they got for being successful. However, they sometimes forget about the work ethics, how hard a person has to work to go from here to that success. And that's what I admired the most about Kobe because whenever I saw a Kobe interview, he always talked about work ethics, how hard he works, how long he's in the gym, how much he studied um, the game of basketball, how he was always a student. No matter how good he became, he became one of the best in his prime. However, whenever he spoke, you would think that he wasn't even who he was. And I feel the best way for me to honor um, Kobe Bryant is to take his life, all the impact, all the stuff that he stood for and apply it to my life. I'm gonna continue to set goals and work towards my goals, make sure that whatever it is that I want to accomplish, that every day I work towards that. I wanna leave a legacy for my family, uh, for my future kids, um, the same way that Kobe um, has done. Um, that being said, Mamba forever. Um, Kobe, we're going to miss you. Thank you for being an inspiration to the world and um, may you rest in peace, you and everybody that passed on that helicopter. Mamba forever.
is the problem? Ah! Can't believe this. Hey, Crayfon, release your fist. Why? You want to fight me? Ah! What is going on? Why are you acting like somebody has died? Somebody did, Dad. Somebody did. Hey, who? Kobe Bryant. Kobe has passed? Oh, God. Yes, Dad. And his daughter, Gigi. And seven other people. Hey, Crawford, how? How? From a helicopter crash. Oh, Father God, have mercy on your children. This is so sad. Crawford, you see, us humans, we are nothing. Dad, it hurts. Dad, it hurts so much. And why are you hurting? Dad, I really looked up to him. He inspired me. But Crawford, how can he inspire you? At your height? You can't be a basketball player. No, Dad. When it came to Kobe Bryant, it was more than basketball. Oh, is that right? So tell me, how does he inspire you? Dad, he inspired me to be the best me I could be. To work hard to achieve my goals of being the best. To not be afraid of failure. However, I should learn from it. To challenge myself every day and to establish a legacy that will last forever. And no matter how good I think I am, I can always be better. And I can always do better. No matter how tired I am, I should work hard and harder and harder and harder every day to be the greatest. Wow, Crawford Nana Kwame Owusu. Since the day you were born, until now, this is the smartest, the wisest I've ever heard you speak. However, the best way to honor Kobe Bryant is not by yelling and screaming. The best way to honor him is to take his life. All the things that inspire you about him, all the things that you have learned from him and apply it to your life. Work hard so that you can also impact the world. Look at you. You have never spoken or met Kobe Bryant before. However, he has impacted you so deeply. So you need to take that and be inspired, okay? Don't just mourn him. Don't just come here, scream, yell, and cry. Let his life inspire you. Let his life motivate you to be great. I always tell you, you have so much potential to be great, but you're always focusing on foolishness. Today, I see that you are focusing on something more. Be great. Build a legacy that generations will come and talk about. Praise you so that you live on forever. Crawford, be a legend. Do you understand? Dad, you're right. You're 100% right. But this is very, very sad. Father God, only you know what you are doing. Hey. Hey, Crawford. Why are you still standing there? Didn't we just have a whole conversation about you working hard so you can impact the world? As you know, Kobe Bryant's road to success was by picking up a basketball. As I look at you, your size and your height, that is not your route. However, the GPS is rerouting you. It's rerouting you to go and pick up a book and read. The book is your destination to becoming a successful doctor so you can impact the world. Leave a legacy. Go pick up a book and read. Yes, Dad.